You must 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's in ignition. And lift off. Lift off of an Atlas V rocket and Landsat 9, continuing the legacy of an irreplaceable 50 year record on our ever changing planet. Control system response looks good. RD 180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Vehicle has begun the uh, pitch over maneuver, body rates look good. That pitch over maneuver heading it to the south towards Southern California and down to Mexico. Now passing 40 seconds into flight. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Pump speeds and injector pressures all within expected ranges. There's a shot from our tracker cam above the marine layer. Now 55 seconds into flight. Vehicle is now completing the pitch over maneuver. Body rate responses continue to look good. Three minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 continue to look good. Body rate's continuing to look good. And at 1 minute 20 seconds into flight, Atlas is now supersonic, vehicle passing Mach 1. A critical moment for the rocket. And vehicle is now passing max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. RD-180 performance continues to look good throughout boost phase. Engine's now throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. That throttle down reduces the stress on the 19-story tall vehicle. At one minute, 50 seconds into flight. Vehicle is now 10.7, correction, 13 miles in altitude, 7.9 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,500 miles per hour. Now just under two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. At two minutes, 18 seconds, the Atlas V vehicle now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. And vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. Body rates indicating a slight adjustment uh, can be expected for this phase of flight. There's a beautiful shot right there looking back towards the planet and see the plume from the RD-180. And the reaction control system on the Centaur is now pressurizing to flight levels. System pressure response looks good. So the reaction control system, system on Centaur, they're prepping it. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good throughout boost phase. Body rates remain stable. Coming up in 60 seconds, the now booster engines will cut off. Flight. Approximately one minute remaining now until booster engine cutoff. Our tracker shot getting a great. And now three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Atlas is 48 miles in altitude, 70 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,600 miles per hour. Great shot as it goes out over the Southern Pacific. Pump speeds and injector pressures on RD-180 continue to look good throughout boost phase. And the Atlas V is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. Speed currently 7,700 miles per hour. Has begun boost phase chill down. Now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit in preparation for VECO. This is where the booster engine cuts off and then separates. And we have VECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage set. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition. And there you see the separation. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. Beautiful shot of the booster falling away as you're looking and we down. Have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And you should see the, the payload fairing. Sometimes they come around the side. 12 minutes, 11 seconds. There you see RL-10 performance continues to look good in the early part of this first burn. 
Now passing four minutes, 47 seconds into flight. So we're in a good point, Mick. Flight is looking good. We're going to monitor the situation here. But uh, what a beautiful launch. What a beautiful flight so far. Five minutes but there's still a lot of work to do. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of work to go on. But beautiful shot there of the RL-10 engine in space, uh, sending Landsat 9 onto its orbit. A great launch this morning. So excited for this. We're getting some of that uh, orbital sunrise on the uh, engine bell there. And that's just a neat look as you look back at our planet. All right, Marie, we'll keep track of things in here, but for the meantime, we'll send it back out to you on the hill.